So, I recently was in a campaign, and actually I'm still in the campaign, but that's a digression. Anyway, um, basically my uh, sorcerer bard was killed in, uh, in battle, and my DM let me come back by reincarnation. The problem is that by reincarnation, um, I came back as, instead of a human, as a dragonborn, and I had a level of Draconic Sorcerer, and I came back, I was a, uh, what do you call it, a, a human variant, and I came back as like, um, a Dragonborn, I can't remember what it was, it was some kind of Dragonborn, I, I have to look at my sheet, at any rate, my Draconic, my Draconic Blood, my, I came back from a red dragon Draconic Bloodline, and now I'm, uh, instead of being a fire-type dra Draconic Bloodline, now I come back as the Dragonborn that has an Acid type. So, yeah, I have an Acid type. So, the thing is, I asked my DM, what is my Draconic Bloodline now, because now what, you know, I'm, I was red. Now, what's my Draconic bloodline now that I'm reincarnated? So, he said, I'm still Draconic bloodline. But now, I'm associated with the uh, copper, whatever it was, that I'm now, uh, that I am now the color of from my Dragonborn. So, according to reincarnation, you come back with the same spells and, you know, your same class and subclass for your character and you come back with all your memories and everything because that's what the reincarnation spell tells you uh that's the description of the spell so if you were to come back you would still be a sorcerer you'd still have all your abilities but the problem is would you still be a draconic sorcerer i mean my dm let me so i still had my 13 plus ac and plus one uh HP per level, um, as Draconic Sorcerer, you know, that was good, but it's like, yeah, it kind of sucked in a way, because, I mean, it was, I didn't really suck, because I wasn't really using it for much power, I guess, but it's something to consider if you are a DM and you're having character reincarnated. You know, their, their conch bloodline might change. So it's something to prepare for as a player. If you're going higher up and gain elemental adept. So, I plan to go up to level 6 and that, that's the conch bloodline. So in preparation, it, since I'd get elemental adept, I'm going to try and get as many different elements as possible. Just in case I am, well... Killed in battle and reincarnated because he tends to reincarnate more than resurrect. So that way I will, well, have an element I can use. But yeah, that's something to consider. Would you still be, have the Draconic bloodline of your original, you know, bloodline? Because you're reincarnated, you don't have the same body. Or would you have a new bloodline? Or would you not be Draconic Sorcerer anymore? Would you be a different kind of sorcerer? You know? I think it's up to the DM, really. But, yeah, it's just thoughts on what would you do for a draconic sorcerer? Would you, you know, would you still be a dra draconic sorcerer? Would you be a different bloodline? I guess it's really up to the DM. But, anyway, in preparation for something like that happening again, because, I mean, the next session we had someone die. Or next session or second session after that we had someone die so people die all the time in our campaign so just for preparation of that possibly happening i am going to try and well get as many different cantrips and spells with elemental abilities as i can and um, just diversify against different elements and that way if i'm reincarnated again i will have say i'll be like hey i have this spell i can use with this helmet and i will have a spell i can use in case any creature has an elemental, you know, resistance, I've got another option. Or if it has um, a vulnerability, I can use this option. So, that's one way I'm going to develop my character. 
you know, just have as many different elemental spells as possible and have different area effect spells, singular spells, cantrips. Basically, diversify my character as much as possible um, just in case I'm reincarnated and my bloodline uh, changes again. But that's something to consider, something I'm going to do to adapt, and I'm going to let you uh, consider this as a dungeon master and as a player as to what would happen if your draconic sorcerer were reincarnated and not resurrected. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and peace out.